Well, good early Sunday morning to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody is having a show enough good Sunday, and I hope y'all had a good weekend. But I'm here to tell you, it is foggy here in East Central Mississippi. Yes, Lord. And we're expecting some more rain, too. What I'd like to make mention of, if you are new to the Home in the Sticks channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over here in the sticks, I thank y'all for coming back. What I wanted to share with you and y'all today is we're going to revisit something, uh, a practice that I do here at my home in the sticks. So give me a second, and that's what we fit in the do's. <laughs> All right, you and y'all, I hope the light is good for you, but yeah, it looks like it wants to rain. It's foggy, but I did a video probably about two years ago, probably one of my first videos that I ever did, and it was uh, about how I prune my tomatoes and my cucumber plants. Believe it or not, I've had, I still, I still get a lot of questions on uh, pruning stuff. What I thought I'd do was I wanted to revisit this video and it's not gonna be 12 minutes long and I'm not gonna do a lot of blabbing, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get up close and show you what I do and how I do it. And that is pruning my pepper plants. Dan, do you prune everything over there at your home in the sticks? I do. Uh, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, I, I prune all of that stuff because I firmly believe that these low lying leaves that actually touch this soil or fall into the soil creates leaf litter. And in my opinion, and this, this is just merely my opinion, when those low-lying leaves actually touch the soil or the growing medium, they become leaf litter and bugs, aphids, they're like, hey, free food. Let me call all my partners and we're gonna come over here and eat all this leaf litter. Next thing you know, the aphids look up and they're like, oh dang, we got a bunch more stuff we could uh we can eat. So let's let's to commence to eating it. So that's what we don't want to do. So let's get started and I'm gonna show you how I prune my pepper plants. These guys right here are my mad hatters. So let me show you. Normally without fail, this is the first thing that I normally do. Here's my uh, my pruning shears. As I just have some old plain rubbing alcohol. And I'll wet me a little paper towel up with some rubbing alcohol. And I'll give these, these pruning shears a wipe off. See all of that? That's just from snipping and doing my thing. Basically all I'm doing is sanitizing these snips. If my pepper plants have some type of issue going on with them uh, fungus wise, I surely don't want to not wash these, not sanitize these guys and go use them on my my mater plants and then I might be cross contaminating. So that's what I want to do. First thing, I always sanitize my clippers. Okay, as you can see, there's a bunch, I have a whole bunch of low-lying stuff, and all I'm going to do is just get these guys a snip. You're just going to clear the path, so to speak. See some suckers on there, and that's fine. Another reason for, for pruning, seeing what we don't want to do is we don't want to leave these leaves just sit there on the ground. Over time, this will decompose, become leaf litter, and then the aphids and the bugs will move in and get to eating on this or laying eggs on that. So, we'll just get rid of it. And that is basically how I prune my pepper plants. Also, what I don't want to do is I want this, the plant to devote all its energy into making fruit. I don't want it to waste its time or its energy on making new green leaves. So just take them off. Too easy. That is how I prune my pepper plants. And I have a bunch of pepper plants and I, I've already pruned these guys. If you look here, see? See that yellow leaf? That'll become leaf litter. It'll probably just pop off. But you see there's no, there's no, no leaves down at the bottom. It's just a little bit of stalk and then leaves above that. Now what I will say is you can actually cut everything below the fruit. So if you have a stem coming out here and you have some fruit, some flowers that are hanging right here, it's safe to cut all of these, all of these, these low lying ones, it's safe to cut those off. I wouldn't cut, naturally you don't want to cut anything near the fruit. 
Now, Dan, is this is this tried and true? No, nah, this is just something that I do over here at my home and sticks. I've been doing it for the last uh, several years, four or five years maybe. And that's pruning everything. And I haven't really had any aphid problems. Well, I can say I've had no aphid problems on my peppers or my maters. Now, what I will say is I might have to think on and study on pruning some dang squash because, Lord, the aphids tore my squash up. All right, y'all. We're going to end this video here. Again, I hope everybody is having a show enough good Sunday, and I hope y'all having a safe one. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and the Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over and give me a look, because I'm always doing stuff. Really? With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan Reference Show Enough always going to say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. You get your shine on. It's important. And Dan, we'll see you and y'all in the next video.